Hello everyone, this is Maria Lane with a very, very, very long overdue update. Yeah, I, I could <laughs> use all these beautiful excuses, but um, I won't. I thought I'd just come on and just let you know what I've been up to lately and where I am heading. And yeah, it's been a very interesting few years, to say the least, um, with with change and a lot of family, of course, because I've got two beautiful granddaughters now and I have a gorgeous daughter who's getting married in January next year. So that has taken a bit of um a bit of my focus. But um no excuse, no excuse. I've been working with a woman, a beautiful woman called Lorena, who um has this gift. She she's like a spiritual coach. And I don't know whether she'd like me saying that, but she she does this process where she it's called soul's language and it's getting teaching me to get out of here and into my heart. And I spend too much time up here. And she looks at your astrology at your birth. And then we we go into these beautiful cards. And there's 352 of them. And I can't say that they've been uplifting readings. They have been a little bit confronting, but this apparently is, <laughs> is what I've been avoiding for lifetimes. Um, apparently, you know, I have um, the North Node in Libra, which is warrior energy, and so therefore I put up guards and everything. And I, I'm, I'm like a soldier. Okay, I won't bore you with too much more detail of that. But something she said to me recently really struck a nerve. And um, she contacted me to see if I'd like a moon reading. These are timed at um, moon crossovers twice a month. <clears throat> and I said, no, no, sorry, not really, because I was thinking of abundance and, and lack of. And she came back to me and said, no, that's fine, I understand. She said, but it's interesting. I pulled a couple of cards anyway. And she said one of them was, you give up too easily. And I thought, oh, she's so right. How do I do that? Yeah, absolutely. And 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 I can see, you know, I've done it with, with this channel. And, you know, I go off and I get caught with shiny object syndrome and, and I go off and start different things and I don't finish what I started. So here I am. I'm back. I'm back. Those, those words did really resonate with me and I thought, this is my path. And, you know, I can try and go off in different directions, but I seem to be called back to this direction. So, um, yeah, I started other YouTube channels, you know, I don't know why, but anyway, I thought it was a good idea at the time. And they just didn't take off for whatever reason. So um, I've got some pretty good content that I'm going to upload to this one um, over the next few weeks, because I think there's some really important messages in there. But I, 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 I <laughs> yes, um, this is the moon of identity, the one that we're having right now. So it is all about me at the moment. Um, so I am a messenger. I am here to share messages. And however those messages come to you, that I believe is you're meant to be hearing. So let's just talk about the law of attraction and vibration and how we manifest things so very very easily especially the, the unwanted stuff and just to paint a um a picture with a story I woke up yesterday morning grabbed my phone I know anyway I grabbed my phone and the first post I laid my eyes on was I don't know even I don't know who this man is but he was on my feed and he said oh please pray for me my son has just passed over in a car crash and my heart, oh, my God, that was dreadful. Oh, that would be the worst thing um, for anyone to lose a, a loved one. It's part of our, our journey here, I know, but um, it's still hard, definitely. And 10 minutes later, um, watching a, a video about law of attraction, and this guy was painting a backstory, and he talked about another accident where his son was taken in an accident car accident okay <laughs> two in 10 minutes fine fast forward a few hours and we get a message from my colleague to say I've just been involved in a car accident touch wood no one was injured but her car's a write-off and I'm thinking really <laughs> what are the odds 
another hour passes, I go down the street and there's two women talking and they're looking at the back of the car and there's another accident. And I thought, okay, I get it, universe, I get it. I started the day with that focus and therefore the reflection is coming back loud and clear. So I just wanted to share that with you. Now, I'm not sure if I can share my screen. Let's have a look. I've got some things here. <clears throat> screen one. Yeah. And I want to share this one here. I'll put a link to this um, video in the description once I finish this. Such a powerful 11 minutes, you know, and she, Dolores really goes into telling us about <clears throat> how we, um, our language is very important, what we say, what we put out there and being in the presence, the present moment, super, super powerful. So, um, yeah, just wanted to share that story with you. I will have a, um, a message coming up and I'll put a timestamp down for those who don't want to listen to me rambling. I get it. It's okay. Now, while I've got my screen up, I also wanted to share with you um, what I've been working on in the past year or so. Uh, oh, before I get there, I was also um, listening to a person. I've started blogging. I've created a blog, and I'll show you in a moment. And yesterday I was listening to the, the man who's created this, this course that I'm doing. He talked all about motivation and he mentioned that he'd been to a landmark forum and I could tell because what he was sharing was really, really powerful. But he mentioned Og Mandino and I remember reading Og Mandino's books in the early 90s. They are so good, so good. And anyway, he mentioned the scrolls. So I did a bit of Googling and I read them last night and powerful about creating new habits. So I started this morning and... If you're interested in finding out more, this lady here, um, again, I'll link that in the video description below. Um, she's got a PDF of them and there's some YouTube videos about them, but really, really powerful. You read a scroll three times a day for a month and it's all about creating new good habits. We can be a slave to bad habits, which most of us fall into, or we can do the good habits and it's just knowing the difference. So listening to Dolores and that video that she shares about manifesting, following some of Og's principles, both in line, both in line. And I think that's going to have a really powerful effect, especially if you want to bring about positive change to your current situation. So the third thing that I wanted to share with you is I started this blog Let's go here home. It might be a bit slow. Um, and I'm calling it Insightful Universe. And it's just got a whole lot of stories um, about the universe and anything that came to my mind at the time. And some of it I have used um, AI to generate the content. And I felt guilty about that. I thought it's not my words. But it's... My belief is if you're hearing something, regardless of where the, where it comes from, the source, if it resonates, then it's meant for you. If it do, if it's not for you, then you won't be seeing it. You won't be a vibrational match to it. Totally get this mirror. 100% understand that you only get to see and hear what you are a vibrational match to. So if you're watching this, there is something in this message today that um, you were guided to from the universe. Um, so I'd invite you, <laughs> this is the, um, the WordPress view. So, but, um, yeah, there's some really good things in here. Well, I believe there are. Um, and the final thing that I've been working on, where is it here? Is this PDF. It's based on the 30 magical days of transformation that I started in 2014 with a bunch of 30 or 40 people. I can't remember. But we did this every day we manifested an object. And it's to really strengthen our manifesting abilities. And I converted it into a book, which I put up onto Amazon. And now it's a PDF version so that you'll be able to download it and 
uh, yeah, let me just have a quick look. It's 144 pages. It's quite long. It does have some planners in the back. So I'm going a bit fast. This is a wonderful story about how I manifested an, um, an aardvark. I think that's how you say it. Aardvark. Really cool. So let me stop sharing now. Stop sharing. So if you're still with me, thank you so much. What I have here is um, oh, I've got some daily guidance cards. These are beautiful cards. And I thought I would finish the message off with one of these cards for us all, if you're still here. And um, and I will be back with some messages. Yeah, it's time to get back on the horse. And I'm not going to create new channels and I'm not going to go off and create new Facebook pages. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is that the expression? Anyway, um, okay, so let's see what the universe would like us to know. And here we go. Oh, there we go. Do not attempt to safeguard the current situation for it will be disrupted anyway. Instead, try and face it honestly uh, what is before you. So maybe that's why I'm here today um, to say, you know, do not attempt the currency to be disrupted anyway. Okay, so it's time for change. That's what it's saying. You know, it's time to move on to um to like a clean slate, so to speak. And one more. Let's see what this one says. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. There are still further challenges to face. Recognize that you have the strength to overcome them. Try one more time. Okay. There we go. There's my validation. So I'm doing the right thing. I'm back. Okay, so if you're still here, thank you very much. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll link all of these resources below so you can have a look. And, um, yeah, I will aim to do a message once a week and, and I'll do my little uh, YouTube reels um, whenever I can. All right. Thanks, everyone. So good to be speaking with you. Bye.